What up, YouTube? TTC, Dirty Bird Nation, Rise Up Nation, what's good? Sergeant AR10, back with a preview video. My Dirty Birds taking on the Carolina Panthers in about an hour and a half. Um, let's talk about the skill players. I'm going to combine uh, both teams' skill players. I'm not going to break it down into two videos. I'm going to break it down into one video. Starting off with the skill players on offense from the Carolina Panthers. You got Teddy B at quarterback. Uh, McCaffrey is not available, so they'll be starting Mike Davis at running back. Uh, Alex Arma at fullback. Uh, with DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson at wide receiver. Um, I talked about their tight end, uh, Mr. Chris Manhurts, the last video, and Ian Thomas as well. Um, they'll be uh, cycling in Samuel Curtis, uh, Seth Roberts, uh, Brandon Zilstra, and Pharaoh Cooper. Those are the wide receivers um, for the Carolina Panthers. Now, we do have... Um, both um, Sherrod Neesman at safety and Ricardo Allen. I'm pretty sure Ricardo will be back. I don't know if Keanu will be back all the way. Uh, his snaps might be limited um, as far as the Dirty Bird secondary. Um, so we got those guys at safety uh, with Jordan Miller and um, you know Kendall Sheffield, Isaiah Oliver, Ble Bleedy Bray Wilson. And the return of the rookie, uh, A.J. Terrell. He will also be playing cornerback uh, for my Dirty Birds. So, game kicks off at 1 o'clock. Um, we'll be watching the game, man. Checking out the matchups. Trying to see if this secondary can improve just enough to beat the Carolina Panthers. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I don't know you know, what type of game I'm going to get from my guys. Um if Teddy Bridgewater doesn't have at least 350 yards passing against our secondary, then he's not good. Um, this secondary gives up long passes, short passes. They can't get out the field on third and long. They're just they're just Swiss cheese right now, full of holes. Um, the coaches put them out of uh, – often put them out of position, often leave them on islands, and they constantly get burned. Uh, we've seen receivers not do anything all year and then play us and have excellent games. Um, Isaiah Oliver has been getting beat all season. Um, AJ, we miss AJ's coverage, you know, um, against the against the Chicago Bears. We really did, and the and the and the Packers. Um, but now that he's coming back, I think we'll improve, you know, a little bit. Um, Sherrod Neesman, man, liability. Ricardo Ricardo is a liability, too. I mean, I've seen him give up a, a third and 22 against the Seahawks. He let the receiver run right past him. Um, all these guys are liability. Um, Teddy B should probably have three, maybe four touchdown passes, maybe even 400 yards. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be bad, man. Um, the best way for us to win this game is just to outscore Carolina. That's just the best way. Um, let's look at the uh, the Carolina DBs. Um, their DBs and safeties. Um, I think they've been they've been fifty fifty. Um, I know they've given up some long plays. I know they um, they've been maligned too. They just haven't been as bad as us, which is not hard to do. <laughs> um, Dante Jackson at corner, um, Eli Apple at corner, Trey Boston at safety. Um, they got Justin Burris at strong safety. Uh, who else do they have? Um, linebackers, of course, uh, Sha Shaq Thompson, Tahir Whitehead talked about him. Uh, Jeremy Chen talked about him as well. I uh, don't know if he'll be available. Uh, he's backed up by Jermaine Carter Jr., uh, they also have a Darius Taylor, Julian Stanford. Um, what other corners do they have? Uh, Rasul Douglas picked him up from the Eagles, so he might be starting for them in place of Dante Jackson if he's not available. Um, at our receivers, of course, you know, the uh, perennial uh, pro bowler, future Hall of Famer Julio Jones uh, just passed up Roddy White for career receptions. Um He'll probably be about 80%. He's still having hamstring issues. Calvin Ridley, Russell Gage, uh, Alameed Zacchaeus, and Christian 
Blake at receiver. Uh, at running back, of course, we have TG3, Ty Gurley at running back, um, you know, backed up by Brian Smith, uh, backed up by uh, Edo, by, by, by Brian Hill, backed up by Edo Smith, and then, um, you know, my boy Keith Smith at uh, fullback. So, um, Matt Ryan at quarterback, uh, he usually carves the Panthers up. He really does. Uh, with the exception of a game about, what, three or four years ago when we lost, like, what, 36 to nothing, 37 to nothing. Um, this guy constantly, I mean, constantly carves up the, the Panthers, man. He uh, he always had success against these guys, man. Um, he'll have Brian Burns coming after him. You know, he'll have uh, linebackers blitzing up the middle. He'll have... A pass rush coming at him. Uh, I don't know how well Caleb McGarry is going to do, you know, coming in off injury. Uh, Jake Matthews is always a good, you know, pass protector. But um, we're going to we're going to go back and forth with these guys in the first half. Uh, we might even have a lead at halftime. We might be up maybe 17, 14, 21, 14 at halftime. Uh, they'll make a surge coming back in the third quarters. In the third quarter, we always have crappy third quarters for some reason. Uh, we come out sleepwalking in the third quarter. Uh, we'll probably be down by 10, maybe 14 going into the fourth quarter. We'll come back and make it interesting. But um, we might win on a last-second drive, last-second field goal. Uh, it's a division game. It counts twice. It's going to be close. Um but I got us winning 27 to 24. Um, the defense might not give up more than 30 points today. They might not. Uh, they might give up a bunch of yardage. They might just play Ben, but don't break. Uh, with AJ coming out there, I know he's going to make a difference. I know Sheffield's going to make a difference on the outside. The question is can we have a pass rush? Where has Tag been? Where has Fowler been? Where have these guys been, man? These guys got so much hype going into the season, but they really haven't produced, man, due to being out of shape, being being hurt, um, not in the right scheme, um, not being put in a you know position to make plays. It's just a lot of factors going into it. Um, but you know, that's just the matchup, man. Those are the players that's gonna be on the field. Uh, shout out to my Georgia Bulldogs, man, for just whooping up on Tennessee. Uh, a bunch of Tennessee fans had a lot of trash to talk, but at the end of the game, they were very quiet on social media. They were very quiet <laughs> at the end of the game. Um, everybody keeps down my Bulldogs, man. Uh, we got a big matchup coming up on Saturday against Bama, and we're going to hear a lot of trash when we play Bama, you know, leading up to the game. Um, I think Julio will be inactive this game. Uh, maybe his hamstring is not a hundred percent, so um, they might sit Julio. I don't know for sure. Um, but shout out to Julio, man. Shout out to my Bulldogs. Everybody over there at the University of Georgia, man, keep doing what y'all doing. Um, the four string walk on Stetson Bennett, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, I want to also say salute to my uh, Atlanta Braves, man, coming up. Uh, you'll see a video from me tomorrow, Game 1 National League Championship Series against the Dodgers. Um, everybody, same thing, man. Same thing, just like the the way they treat my Bulldogs, man. Everybody's sleeping on my Braves going up against the Dodgers. But I know we will be victorious. So, anyway, Sergeant AR-10 signing out. Salute to everybody that stayed till the end. Shout out to everybody that's sub to the page, man. Share this video um, and keep following your boy, Sergeant AR-10, man. I keep it real. I uh, keep it authentic, man. It's unscripted. Right off the top of the dome, I talk about the players. I talk about the coaches, and I give my predictions. You know what I'm saying? So um, we'll see what happens with my Dirty Birds. Uh, might make a halftime, maybe not, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, salute to all the subs. Sergeant AR-10 signing out. Y'all have a great Sunday. Peace.